everyone and welcome back to cotton can crafts hope you all are doing well and taking care of yourselves and your loved ones so in today's video i will be showing you how i have made these bunnies and to make the same i have used white color yarn in four ply and 2 mm hoop and its height from head to toe it is approx 32 centimeters and uh, in this video I will be showing you only how to make the bunny not its dangri because for the same I will be uploading a video shortly so if you like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so let's get started with the video to make the bunny we will start with its shoe first and uh, for that uh, we need to make total 11 chains now we will skip the last two chains and uh, we'll do single crochet on eight uh, chains eight single crochet and three single crochet on the ninth chain now eight single crochet on eight chains Eight single crochet and then two single crochet on the ninth chain now we'll put a stitch marker here but before that let's count the number of stitches we're having we should be having together all together 22 stitches from here to here just uh, remember to count it once now we'll do eight single crochet on eight of the stitches next two single crochet each on four uh, stitches and then single crochet on rest of the ten stitches next again eight single crochet on eight stitches next two half double crochet on each eight uh, stitches then uh, seven single crochet on seven stitches and now uh, two single crochet on next six stitches two single crochet each on next seven uh, six stitches now we'll move the stitch marker from here to here we should be having total 40 stitches so before proceeding further just count it once whether you're having 40 stitches or not and now we'll do a single crochet on 40 stitches but on the back loops only next uh, we'll make five rows on 40 stitches and uh, this time we'll be using uh, both the loops of uh, a single stitch after finishing five rows it will look like this one two three four five five rows i've completed now i'll move the stitch marker here and we will start decreasing now so before that uh, we'll be making six single crochet then one decrease one decrease now one single crochet one decrease and we will follow the same pattern five times including this one which we have just done then 17 single crochet on the 17 left stitches at the end of the row uh, we should be having total 34 stitches now next next round uh, we will start with 5 uh, single crochet then we will decrease 6 
now again 17 single crochet on 17 stitches at the end of the row we should be having total 28 stitches uh, now for the next round we'll do two single crochet then again decrease six and 14 single crochet on 14 left stitches at the end of the row we should be having total 22 stitches again we'll start with, with uh, two single crochet then decrease six and eight single crochet we are left with total 16 stitches uh, now we'll make 20 rows on uh, 16 uh, stitches so I have finished my 20 rows and uh, I have stuffed it as well and uh, after stuffing it will look like this now next uh, we'll do two single crochet um, but before that I'll put my stitch marker here two single crochet and then one decrease and uh, we'll follow the same pattern to complete the row and uh, at the end of the row we should be having tw 12 stitches next we will make six decreases okay now my row is uh, complete so now what we'll do since uh, this uh, this side we will be uh, taking as the front of the leg so what we'll do we'll make a we'll do two more single crochet on two stitches and then we'll start closing the opening and for that we'll use three single crochet then last one slip stitch and we'll cut the yarn in and in the similar way make two here I have already made two now uh, we'll make its hands and for that we need to make one magic ring and uh, let's put eight stitches on the magic ring okay so we have eight stitches here Let's put the stitch marker here. Now we'll increase one on each eight uh, stitches. So it will become 16. Now we'll make 22 rows on 16 stitches. After finishing 22 rows, it will look like this. Now we'll do two single crochet. But before that, uh, let me put my stitch marker here. Two single crochet and then one decrease. And uh, we'll follow the same pattern to complete the row. And at the end of the row, we should be left with total 12 stitches. and uh, we'll close it with three single crochet cut off the yarn and in the similar way make another one so now we have got two two legs and two hands so now we'll move on to its body and for that we'll start again with one magic ring and we'll put we'll make six uh, stitches on it now we'll make one one increase on six stitches and uh, it will become 12 
next one single crochet one increase and double follow the same pattern to complete the row and at the end of the row we should be having 18 stitches two single crochet one increase and uh, at the end of the row we should be having 24 stitches three single crochet one increase end of the row uh, we should be having total 30 stitches four single crochet one increase and at the end of the row we should be having 36 stitches five single crochet one increase and at the end of the row we should be having 42 stitches now we have 42 uh, stitches and uh, next round we'll uh, do single crochet on, on all the 42 stitches now six single crochet one increase at the end of the row we should be having 48 stitches now one single row on 48 uh, stitches here my row is complete now uh, we'll do seven single crochet and uh, we'll increase one and at the end of the row we should be having 54 stitches so here I have completed my row and uh, now uh, we'll make 10 rows on 54 stitches without uh, increasing it further. Now before proceeding further, uh, we'll attach its legs. So for that, what we'll do, uh, this uh, point from where we uh, started uh, doing uh, or making the 10 rows, we'll uh, keep that point as a marker and uh, we'll place both legs just below that marker If you feel that if you feel comfortable attaching uh, the legs after finishing the whole body then you can do that as well okay now I will before uh, cutting the yarn I will just secure both these uh, yarns together tightly and I uh, will just cut the yarn okay it's done in the same way I'll uh, attach the other leg it's done now so now let's move on to the next step uh, before that let me move my stitch marker here now we'll make seven single crochet and then one decrease and we'll repeat the same uh, process six times and uh, at the end of the row uh, we should be having total 48 stitches next we'll make five rows on 48 uh, stitches okay so i have finished my five rows and uh, now we'll make six single crochet and one decrease at the end of the row we should be having total 42 stitches next we'll make one uh, single row on 42 stitches it's complete now next we'll uh, make five single crochet and one decrease and uh, we'll uh, repeat the same pattern and we'll complete the row and at the end of the row we should be having total 36 stitches one row on 36 stitches without uh, decreasing further 
four single crochet one decrease and at the end of the row we should be having 30 stitches so after finishing the round we are having 30 stitches and uh, now we'll make five rows on 30 stitches without uh, decreasing so here i have finished my five rows and after that i have attached uh, its hand with its body and uh, the next one i'll show how i have done it and this time what we'll do we'll uh, keep this last row as the marker and uh, we'll place its hand just below that first row but just uh, keep in mind to place the hand in line with its leg only if you're not comfortable uh, attaching this hand right now then you can attach it later on after finishing the whole body and uh, I'll pull these ends inside okay it's done now so we have uh, attached uh, uh, these legs and then these hands with the body so now we'll move on I'll place the stitch marker here so now next we'll make three single crochet and one decrease and at the end we should be having 24 stitches two single crochet one decrease and we'll follow the same pattern to complete the row and at the end we should be having 18 stitches now uh, we'll make one single row on 18 stitches now before proceeding further uh, let's stuff this body so next we'll make we'll do two single crochet one increase and at the end of the row we should be having 24 stitches okay now for next row uh, we will do one single crochet one increase and we'll do it 12 times and at the end of the row we should be having total 36 stitches for the next row we'll do five single crochet and one increase and at the end of the row we should be having 42 stitches next six single crochet one increase and at the end of the row we should be having 48 stitches next row we will be doing seven single crochet one increase at the end we should be having 54 stitches for next row we'll do eight single crochet one increase and at the end of the row we should be having 60 stitches in the next row we will make nine or uh, we will do nine single crochet and then we'll increase one at the end of the row we should be having total 66 stitches okay so i've completed the row now we will make 10 rows on 66 uh, stitches without uh, increasing any further okay so here i have completed my uh, 10 rows and uh, after completing 10 rows it, it uh, will look like this so now uh, we will start the process of decreasing so we'll start with uh, uh, nine single crochet and one decrease and at the end of the row we should be having total 60 stitches okay my round is complete now next we will do eight uh, single crochet one decrease and uh, at the end of the row we should be having 54 stitches next uh, seven single crochet one decrease and at the end of the row we should be having total 48 stitches now we have completed the row and uh, we have 48 uh, stitches so what we'll do we'll, we'll uh, make one row on one row of single crochet on 48 uh, stitches 
a six single crochet one decrease and at the end of the row oh, we should be left with 42 stitches again one row on 42 stitches five single crochet one decrease at the end of the row we should be left with 36 uh, stitches four single crochet one decrease and uh, at the end of the row we should be having 30 uh, stitches again one single row on 30 stitches three single crochet one decrease and uh, at the end of the row we should be having 24 stitches so we'll uh, stuff it now because the opening is getting uh, smaller so before it gets uh, too smaller uh, we'll stuff it here i have uh, stuffed its head and it will look like this and uh, now we'll uh, move on further now we'll do one single row on 24 stitches next one single crochet one decrease into eight times and at the end we should be having 16 stitches it's done so now we'll keep on decreasing until this whole opening gets closed so uh, mine it's done now so i'll just do one slip stitch and uh, cut off the yarn it's a whole body is complete now so now let's uh, move on to make its ears to make its ears we will start with uh, one magic ring and uh, we'll make six uh, stitches let's put one stitch marker here next uh, round we'll uh, just increase in all the six uh, stitches we'll make one one increase and uh, for next round we will make one single crochet and uh, one increase and at the end of the row we should be having 18 stitches two single crochet one increase and uh, at the end of the row we should be having 24 stitches next three single crochet one increase uh, at the end of the row we should be having 30 stitches for next round we will do four single crochet and one increase and at the end of the row we should be having 36 stitches similarly for next round we'll make five single crochet and uh, we'll uh, increase one and we'll uh, do it six times and at the end of the row we should be having 42 stitches okay so my round is complete and uh, we have total 42 stitches so now we'll make 10 rows on 42 stitches without increasing it further so after making 10 rows it will look like this now we will uh, start decreasing it so first let me put my stitch marker here now we'll uh, make five single crochet and uh, one decrease and uh, we'll uh, do it uh, six times and uh, at the end of the row we should be left with 36 stitches it's done now we'll again make 10 rows on 36 stitches here i have completed my 10 rows now uh, we'll do four single crochet and uh, one decrease and at the end of the row we should be having 30 stitches so now we have 30 uh, stitches so now we'll make 12 rows on 30 uh, stitches now uh, we'll do three single crochet and uh, one decrease and uh, at the end of the round we should be left with 24 stitches now again we will make 15 rows on 24 stitches after completing 15 rows next we'll do 
two single crochet and uh, one decrease and uh, at the end of the row we should be having 18 stitches now we'll make uh, 15 rows on 18 stitches so here i have completed my uh, 15 rows now we'll uh, seal its both ends together with uh, nine single crochet and one slip stitch and we'll cut the yarn so in the similar way we have to make one more here here i have already made two so now we will uh, stitch these A's on its head like this so here I have stitched its uh, ears on its head and now I have marked two points here where I will be making its, its eyes and uh, I have marked it uh, on the 16th row if we start counting from the top of its head and uh, these two points are six stitches apart from each other so we will take this yarn needle and insert it from the bottom of its head to the point marked with the stitch marker and we'll leave few centimeters of the yarn here and now Well, again want to insert the needle or two stitches apart and and we'll take it out just beside the point from where we had started so now we'll pull these two yarns and we'll pull them tightly so that this place where we will be fixing its eye gets formed and we'll secure these two ends together we will repeat the same pattern for the other side as well it's done now so now you can use the safety eyes available in the market or you can use black color yarns to make it make its eyes here i will be using black colored yarns to make its eyes so now i will show you how it will look after i finish its eyes so my bunny it's complete now here i have used blue colored yarn to make its eyelid and nose with pink colored yarns so let's put on this tangri on this bunny okay so bunny is ready and do one more thing you can you can make this headband and use it for her as well if you if you are interested in uh, knowing how to make this uh, headband then please do let me know in the comment section i will definitely make one video for the same so thank you so much for watching